There are 12 students at the lunch table. Two-thirds of those students got hamburgers, okay? So if we look at this, let's see. Uh, let's look at these in terms of columns, like this one right here. Now we're looking at three students, okay? And it says two-thirds of them got hamburgers. So how many of these three people got hamburgers? Two-thirds. How many of the three? Two of them did, right? So let's say this guy got a hamburger, hamburger, no hamburger, okay? Well, this continues on. Uh, if we look at this row, it's the same pattern. This guy gets a hamburger, hamburger, none. Okay? Same with the next one, hamburger. Two out of the three get hamburgers. Finally, the fourth one, hamburger, hamburger, none. Okay, so that takes care of step one, check. Yeah. Let's look at step two now. It says uh, one half of those that did order a hamburger, so we're just looking now at these eight. Okay, it says one half of the eight actually ordered their hamburger with cheese. So what we're going to do is going to look out of these two. Let's look just at these two. How many of these two got cheese on their hamburger? One. One, okay. So we're going to look at this. We're going to say this guy got cheese. Okay. And if this pattern, of course, continues. One out of every two got cheese, okay. So if we look at number one, what fractions of these students at the lunch table ordered a cheeseburger? Well, that means they ordered a hamburger with cheese. Let's look at this top row. How many ordered cheese Four. on their hamburger? Four. And we're going to do this out of how many total students? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Twelve students. Okay? But the problem is here is that these can be divided by the same factor, which in this case is going to be four. So I divide this by 4, divide by 4, and I end up with 1 third. One half of 1 third. Or what operation is of the word of? Yes. Multiplication. So as it turns out, hey, let's look at this, okay? 1 half of uh, 2 thirds, okay? What we do is we look at this. Let's look at this in terms of cake, because I love cake. Okay. Let's say that this is a chocolate chip, uh, chocolate chip cake, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate chip cake, with uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream. Okay. So let's divide this now into thirds. Okay. All right. Now, if we look at this. We've divided, we've looked at these, and we've looked, we have two of the three, right? There's two of the three. If I divide this two of the three in half, right here, okay, what am I left with? One third, right? Because each of these would be one third of the cake. Yeah. I understand, I know I can eat the whole cake, but this is just for mathematical purposes we're talking about. The half of the two thirds, okay? Because this two pieces would give us the two thirds. Does anyone have any questions on that? So let's look at this example. So we're going to use two fractions. So give me some numbers nine. five, seven. nine, eight. nine. Seven. seven, eight. 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 Sure. Okay. So what we're going to do with these is multiply them together, okay? Now, just so you guys know, this is not addition or subtraction. When multiplying, you do not need, you no longer need common denominators, okay? All we're going to do is I'm going to take the numerators, the top numbers, 5 and 7, and multiply straight across. Okay, that's going to give me my numerator, the answer, numerator, 5 times 7 is 35. 35. 
Then I look at the denominators, 9 and 8, and I multiply these straight across. 9 times 8, 72. Okay. Now we would look to simplify this. This does not look like it is simplifiable, so it stays. Okay. All right, 2, 7, 6, 3, 5, we haven't, no, we haven't, no, we haven't used four yet. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, eight, that's perfect. All right, now we are going to be multiplying these together, but uh, like Ashley was talking about, let's put some negatives in here throughout, all right? Bam. As it turns out, she is right. The negative rules apply for multiplication and division, and that's what this is, because the division line... This fraction line is also a division line, so you divide, okay? So, when we look at this problem, how many negatives do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five. Is five even or odd? Odd. 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 So the answer is a negative. negative, okay? Now that we know the answer is negative, we can ignore those negatives, all right? So let's look at the multiplication. Let's look first at our numerators. Uh, 2 times 6, 12 times 5, 60. 60, very good. Then we look at the denominator, 7 times 3, 21 times 4, 84, very good. Can this be simplified? Yes. Yeah, because right now we have negative 60 over 84. Let's look at this and we'll divide by what number? Two. I'm going to skip 2 and divide by 4, okay? So if I divide by 4, I should get uh, <coughs> uh, 1 and, yeah, 15 over 21. Can I s simplify this? No. Yes, I can, right? No. Divide by 3. three. Five, so that's going to give me, <coughs> I'm sorry, this was negative. 5 over 7, and of course it's negative, so bam, finished. So naturally, we did those. Sometimes you will have improper fractions. So uh, give me some numbers. 7, 6, 4, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, Here's what we're going to do is we're going to make the 7 negative and the 1 negative and multiply these two together, all right? Okay, so this is multiplication. Uh, listen, if you have mixed numbers, don't have mixed numbers anymore, okay? What this means is that you need to turn these into improper fractions, okay? So this one, I, oh, well, first of all, how many negatives do I have? Two. two negatives. Two is even, so the answer is a positive, okay? So I know my answer is positive. Uh, 7 times 4 is 28 plus 3, 31. So this one gives me 31 over 4. This one will give me 1 times 11, 11, 11 plus 8, 19. 19 over 11. Now I can multiply, okay? So 31 times 19 is a very big number. Uh, 589, thank you. So I've got 589er. Over 4 times 11, 44. Can this be simplified? It doesn't look like it. It appears it may not. So this answer is final. I know, some of you want to put this as a mixed number, do it. But I'm not going to because there's big numbers. All right, so let's look at a whole number example. All right. So, sure, let's do negative niner times uh, one, and a half. One, one and a half, sure. Okay, that makes it easy. Well, the thing here is that negative nine, you don't see the fraction, but there is a fraction. Oh, it's nine over one. Negative nine. It's negative nine over one, okay? So this would give you negative nine over one times, this would now be three halves. So negative 27 halves. All right, listen, all this page is telling you in your book, this is on the next page, 
Uh, all this is saying is that you no longer need common denominators to multiply. So do not need common denominators. And you just multiply straight across. Which means if you have 3, 7, 12 fractions, it doesn't matter. You're just multiplying straight across. All right? Quaid. Examples. Oh, this is good. Uh, let me show you guys this real quick technique because some people use it. Okay? Uh, notice I have a 3 in the denominator and a 3 in the numerator. What this means is that they're both divisible by 3. I can cross these out, and they're 1s now. Now I've got 1 times 1, which is 1. 1 times 4, which is 4. Now listen, if you didn't do this, you'd still be fine. What you would have had is 3 twelfths, which would then have simplified to 1 fourth. All right, so let's look at this next one. How many negatives do I have? <coughs> two negatives. Two is even, so my answer is a positive, okay? So I can ignore those negatives, and I just multiply. Four times one? Four. Nine times four? 36. Yep, we need to reduce this. Divide by four. Divide by four, and this equals... One ninth. And it is positive, okay? No answers should be as decimals. We want these as fractions, okay? Yes, for now they are. All right, let's look at this one. Philip rowed his boat ashore. Okay? Bicycle. He rode his bicycle at nine and a half miles per hour. If he rode for three fourths of an hour, how many miles in simplest form did he cover? Well, this is how much per hour he's covering. So if he rode this many hours, what do we do? Brindley. Nine, nine Very good. Nine and a half times three fourths. Well, we need this to be a improper fraction. Okay. So nine times two plus one would be nineteen halves <coughs> times three fourths. Bam! This is 57 eighths miles. Done. Okay, here are some examples in the book. Notice they're just multiplying straight across, okay? Also on this one, they've changed this to 2 over 1, right? Yeah. All right? Also, they've given you the answer both in improper, as an improper fraction and uh, here's the third example where they've cross-simplified, right here and here. Now do A, B, and C. Oh. Multiplication. <laughs> Very good, thank you. Notice Gabby just multiplied straight across, 3 and 10. Bam, 3 tenths. All right, who would like to... All right, Haley has done this very well. One of these is a negative. Right here. Very good. Uh, this one would have worked as well, and it's very good. All right, well, all right, well, Swayze is very close. Would someone like to finish yeah. for her, please? All right, so notice what Quay did is uh, he got rid of the negatives right here because you had two negatives, two is even, so the answer is positive, okay? Then he divided by three, and he got this answer. Very good. The only difference is this example is using mixed numbers, but we already oh. did that example's in the book. Try these three, D, E, and F. All right, so Lonnie's gotten this far. Can this be simplified? Yes. Yeah, what would we divide by? Four. I'd say four. So that would give you 19 over niner. Bam. All right, very good, Tanner. Notice he's changed this mixed number into a... Improper fraction and multiplied 16. Excellent. Notice uh, Ashley here, she's cross-simplified uh, all four of the numbers and made it much easier to multiply. You get nine halves. Okay? All right, here's a word problem. Listen, if you see word problems, just know that it's likely you're going to be doing what with the two fractions? 
multiplying, okay? Because we've been multiplying all day, and it's very rare that they're going to be like, oh, no, subtract. Okay? Multiplication. So, and that's what they've done. They've multiplied. Start on the homework. <laughs>